the leadership was looking for specifically, and I asked them this question a little while ago. I said, you know, what's the value? You know, the value proposition. I mean, really, you know, how do you see the value proposition of business continuity? And they really broke it down very clearly. It says, look, John, we're looking for someone to be an expert. We're looking for someone to be a leader, someone that's going to be able to take the charge to be a champion of this and own this, right? We're also looking at someone who will be a business partner. So being understanding the business, understanding the metrics of the business, right? You know, what are, what are our goals? What are we doing today? It's also about, you know, having intelligence. And I, what I mean by that is that what's the situational intelligence, right? Monitoring what are the risks? What are the threats? What's going on in the world? What are the potentially the things that could impact our operations, right? It's also about having the right relationships. And that not only means just, you know, within the company, but it's also how many external partners do I have to be able to bring in if there is a situation that occurs that I have the right level of expertise. Do I need a generator? Do I need a restoration recovery partner? Do I need a, a, a crisis management public relations firm? All of those different people are at an arm's length to me. And the other two things are, hey, what's the vision? Where are we going with this program? So it's also being able to clearly articulate what is that vision and strategy of what business continuity is going to be and how it's going to be supporting the organization. And then the bottom line for us is it's all about the integrity, right? So everything that we do has to be centered around that. It has to be centered around those values, those core values associated with the company and making sure we operate and do the right things at all times for the employees, for the customers, for the suppliers. So those are the things that they look at when they look at the value of the business continuity program that they have expressed to me. And that's what we, we try to deliver every single day. And that's what I think a lot of people miss when they get into a role like this. They don't realize that I've got to sit down and understand the business. What does the business care about today? What do they care about in the future? And then how can I bring my expertise to the table to enhance and help that mission? And the number one thing people ask me to speak about is executive support. It seems like the number one challenge that business country professionals continue to have. And if I had to summarize it, it's like, understanding the business. If you want executive support, you have to talk their language. You have to understand what their lives are like. And what, are, what is their metric? What is their dashboards that they're looking at? What are the things that, what are the drivers of the business? You know, I've often found that, you know, for me, business continuity is just another decision that they have to make. I just have to educate them on that decision. It shouldn't be treated as something that's kind of separate, if you know what I mean, or some mm -hmm. other thing that we need to deal with. It should be part of the normal business operations. It should be part of any other decision that they're making throughout the day. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's being able to try to understand the business and so I can talk business speak and therefore have a conversation. And therefore that is gave, it has given us huge uh, executive support. The fact that we understand their lives on a day-to-day -day basis and are part of that. <laughs>